Hi, my name is Ali. I'm going to be doing my first uh, YouTube video on my plants. And it won't be too crazy into everything just because I have so many plants and they're kind of all over the place right now. But yeah, let's get started. First off, these are my snake plants. And I don't remember the names for most of them, but I will put it up on the screen. This one is my black coral, and that one over there is my moonshine plant. I have a video on this one on my TikTok where I tried to make it into a snake plant wall, but I actually had to repot it because it did not have drainage holes, and it seems to be doing better there. You can kind of see when I bought it, it was kind of already browning and dying off a bit. I think they overwatered it too much. And they had it in some peat moss, but it seems to be doing a lot better over there. And I'm taking you across the room. These are my smaller plants that I have. Now most of these are plants that I either wanted to start off with small or they're propagations. Like I have my string of bananas or swords or whatever you want to call it. I have my UFO plant, uh, Monstera adansonii. Uh, regular Monstera deliciosa, a uh, couple of cactus plants. I have my pencil pencil pe cactus, sorry, my pencil cactus in the back, and I have my ghost cactus right here. And this one is actually pretty hard to pronounce, so I'm probably gonna put it up on the screen. It's one of my, I guess you want to say more rare plants, but this is a very slow growing plant. I will say, I've seen some pretty old ones. And I think this one was about $10, $5, pretty cheap. I bought it off of Etsy a while back last year and it's doing pretty good. It, I treat it as a cactus, almost succulent. And if you see these stickies, it's because I'm totally infested with fungus gnats and spider mites. I brought a plant home and I didn't quarantine it, so it's doing pretty, pretty bad. But let me show you one of my favorite ones that I got from my plant nursery. This one was actually my first plant rescue. And this was one of the plants that I got when I first got into plants in general. And I'm proud to say that I saved it and I think it's doing pretty well. Now it's a little bit dark and I try to put some lights on so you can see a bit. But I chopped it off in hopes of growing new growth points and it's growing pretty good. This is about almost two months of growth. And I can show you what the cutting looks like. It's back there, you can see the roots a bit growing up and it's doing pretty good. I don't wanna leave that one too much for too long in the water. I'm gonna to wanna to propagate it as soon as it gets roots that are long enough. And back there, you can see my avocado seeds. I've always wanted to grow one. You know, it's a free plant when you get avocados. And I successfully grew roots on all of these, so I wanna see which one can grow to be the biggest. And back there, I have propagations that I potted into these small plants of my Monstera adansonii. I have a snake plant back there that's not doing so hot. I don't know what happened with it, but we're we're gonna let it be. And we also have, I think it's Mantra or Mantra, but it's something Mantra Lemon Lime. She's back there too. And I also have this amazing plant. She's so big. I'm gonna have to turn her for a bit. You can see how big she is, oh God. And I got that one off of Home Depot for I think like 30 bucks, 20 bucks. It wasn't too expensive considering I got three plants out of it and two of them are big. So these two and I got this small one out of it. And obviously the leaves are a lot smaller, but definitely worth it, you know, growing more plants of one plant just to make sure it thrives. I have my snake plant here. Again, I'll probably put it either in the bio or on the screen what these plants are. I know I'm going pretty fast and being pretty vague. And let's see, 
I have a lot of these trailing plants and I have a lot of allocations. Like this one is my alocasia purple sword. And again, you can see I have a lot of fungus gnats and spider mites going around. But let me show you. I was gonna stand next to these, but I've already tried to record this a couple of times and each time I seem to be almost breaking off a stem. But this one is my Monstera adensoniae, and she's very tall. She's about three feet, two feet maybe. And then this one is my Rapidophora tetrasperma. This one is actually the mother plant. I'm pretty sure, I can't tell because I also have this one and they're both from the same plant, but they both grew so tall and so quick that I can't tell which one was the mother plant. They just grew that fast, that big. But what's also pretty funny is I also have this cutting from the exact same plant cut at the exact same time. And you can see that it has bigger leaves, but it's also growing so much slower. Now, I think this was the, actually the top cutting or the second cutting from the middle because it did have pretty big leaves when I cut it. I did have another one. Oh, here it is. Yeah, this one, I think was cut from it too, had crazy aerial roots, or nodes, whatever you wanna call it. They're growing pretty well. Those are my top plants. I know it's just one plant, but those four are absolutely growing so great. And I have more Monstera adansonii down here from the exact same pot. And I can show you a picture of what it used to look like. I actually bought it at Home Depot. Keep in mind, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, let's see, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I would count two more, but I already sold those to somebody online a while back because they were growing so tall so quickly. And those aerial roots, like, look at that. They were growing so fast. I initially wanted to do a plant swap. Some people just didn't want to trade anything. They just kind of wanted to buy it off of me. And the great thing is they're cuttings. So I only gave them for like two, five dollars. They were a pretty good size amount. I want to say like half of this maybe. Just because cuttings are so difficult to figure out if they're going to, you know, thrive and only have, I think, I want to say you one plant from Amazon and that would be my, let me show you really quick, my stag, oh, staghorn fern. She is absolutely huge. She has been, I think, in my first, like my first list of plants that I started collecting because I saw a uh, I'm pretty sure you guys know who this is, Benji Plant. He has so many staghorn ferns and I just wanted to go the cheap route. And for $15, it was still pretty big and it's still grown a lot. I think I posted a picture on or video on my TikTok. You can probably compare from that time till now how big it is. Now, I also have a lot of alocasias. Like that one is alocasia poly, I think. I think just alocasia poly. It could be something else. And so I don't know if I said this in the beginning, but I'm going to show my plants really quick. My phone is not letting me record and it's my first video, but I just kind of wanted to get everything on here really quick. Now, a lot of my plants, I'm probably going to put the link or not the link, the names of them on the bio or on the screen. But this is my black coral, regular snake plant. Moonshine, Brazil uh, Pothos, Monstera adansonii, Bamboo Plant, Rapidophora tetrasperma, String of Bananas, more tetrasperma, um, more Monstera adansonii, Mantra or Mantera, can't pronounce them so you'll have to excuse me. Um, these two plants, I actually don't remember the names, but I will look the names up my very best. I'm sorry, I will try to find them. I have a lot of alocasias, alocasia poly, alocasia purple sword, 
Um, I have another one over here. Alocasia um, Long something. I will have to look up the name. And a lot of these are from Home Depot or from my local plant nursery. Um, I have an orchid back here, string of pearls. Again, a lot of repeats on here. And I can talk about any certain plant in a full in-depth video. Um, just comment below. I also have a bonsai, ficus, more snake plants, cuttings, alocasia corms, um, more monstera cuttings, my dracaena. Now, this is my philodendron giganteum, and this is actually the second fruit or flower. I'm not sure which one they call it. You know, I'm, I'm still pretty new, but it is sick. It did have spider mites, and I'm currently trying to fix those. It's somehow getting a little bit better, somewhat not really. I actually talked about wanting to chop this up and do like a plant meetup. I kind of wanted to chop it up and do almost like a, a plant meetup, plant swap in the future, of course, especially with the alocasia corms. I don't think it'll be until much further until I can get these plants to grow. I kind of just want to meet people around the Atlanta area and Georgia who are into plants. I follow a few communities, you know, nothing too crazy, but I would like to, you know, see more people that are into plants around here. Um, but yeah, that is, those are most of my plants. It's nothing too crazy. I don't have too many plants. A lot of my plants right now are in distress again, but if you ever want to see me talk about a certain plant and how to take care of them, uh, I will definitely do that in the future. I might even do a staghorn remounting video after this, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, a, a gnats, a fungus gnats how to get rid of them. There's a couple of ways and I've gotten rid of them before. It's just that now I have spider mites to worry about and that is more difficult in my opinion. So I kind of forgot to film an outro, but thank you for watching. I know it was kind of all over the place. I don't have my mic on, so you might not be able to hear me as great, but I will try to do better and thank you for watching. I know it was all over the place, so I apologize for the crazy video.